Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I am documenting my plastic surgery journey of a tummy tuck and a arm lift. I am about two days short of being four weeks post-op from my journey so far and as of right now I'm actually getting ready to go into my doctor's appointment just to get my four week follow up details. Today is the second day that I've drove um, post up and actually it was okay for me to drive. There was a lot of bumps in the road that I went over but they did not bother um, me at all. Um, my pain is actually going down from what it was previously last week and I'm actually feeling good today and so I'm about to head in here to go see my doctor he's gonna check my wounds and give me some updates and then I'll come back on and give you his updates as well as I'm gonna try to get some clips of what I'm looking like um, post-op so just stay tuned okay in this next clip that I'm about to show you I just wanted to kind of forewarn you that I am still healing I actually had a slight meltdown at my doctor's office because I am very swollen in this next clip compared to where I was like three weeks ago immediately after surgery I was like completely fat I had like a little bit of swelling like in the middle section above like kind of above my belly button where you kind of kind of see now but it was not as big as it was as it is in this next clip also just wanted to forewarn you that my belly button I was kind of concerned with that um because it looked like it was kind of open still and it had some discoloration to it but however my doctor did um let me know that it was okay so I'm going to go ahead and insert that really quickly now so just wanted to kind of put that forewarning out there these are surgical surgical procedures surgical picture sorry about that and you know this is the healing process so I'm going to go ahead and insert that now and then I will come back on to kind of give you a recap of what my doctor said This is how I'm looking at my compression garment. I um, just want to kind of say that this is part of my garment that's underneath here. But I just have some shorts and I have on my arm compression here. So you can see my arms. And this is pretty much what I'm looking like so far. I am still a bit swollen underneath here, but not as swollen as I was previously. But this is it so far in all of my compressions. Okay, so during my doctor's visit, my surgeon was actually running behind, um, so I didn't get to see him because he actually had another surgery to do, so I saw his nurse practitioner. Um, during my visit with the nurse practitioner, she looked at my belly button, um, there was some scabbing, I would say, um, that had grown on top because the nurse, when they removed my um, bandages like I think two weeks ago they told me to put the Aveeno healing ointment on it every day so that's what I was doing every day after my shower I was putting that on there so the nurse I mean the nurse practitioner um, removed that scabbing and so what you are seeing now is like right after she removed it in that previous clip about my belly button but now I am today is actually the July the 22nd so I'm literally four weeks and two days post-op as I'm recording this section of the video here so my belly button has definitely started since just like three days ago started to kind of come together a little bit more and some of that discoloration has started to clear up since I have not been putting on the healing ointment I'm not sure what it had to do with that but I um, just started to update you with that um, when also during my visit I got my second drain removed so as you can see I am completely drainless now um, it did take pretty much uh, four weeks for me to get both my drains out I got my first drain out doing that three weeks and the um, four weeks I'll say I got my second drain out um, and I'm definitely moving around a lot more easier with both of those drains out however doing that visit with the nurse I had two wound openings to appear one was under my left arm, like it's kind of right in here. And then I had one like on my hip on the left side and the back. So they just redressed that and I they told me to take those dressings off within like a day or two if they didn't fall off on their own. Um, I did take off 
this one underneath my arm on I believe day one and then the second one I took it off on day two so I've just been letting them air out and kind of I did put some antibiotic ointment on it just to make sure it doesn't get infected or anything because I wanted to make sure it's completely closed um, before I started using the Moderna treatment on um, those two sections but I have been using the Moderna advanced skin treatment on all of my other closed areas as well as cocoa butter with vitamin E or just to help make sure they are moisturized and help to lighten those areas. Um, everything else pretty much for my four week post-op visit went pretty well. The highlight of my day um, was besides all of that swelling is I weighed myself I think yesterday and I weighed 205 pounds so that's pretty much I'm going to just estimate I was at 214 um, going into surgery because that's the last time I had weighed myself. So, um, and I think what's been happening with me to reduce some of this swelling is I did start doing the massages. Um, so I have, I've been into self-massaging because I just yesterday found a therapist to go to. But for the past, I'll say maybe, hmm four days I've been doing self massages with bio oil and I looked at a couple YouTube videos to kind of see how to do the massages so that's definitely helped and it's definitely helped to uh, remove some of the hardness that I had on my um, um, sides so I will say just as a recap the liposuction that I had was like in the middle of my stomach I wanted it to get it on my flanks but unfortunately he couldn't do that I'm not sure why he can't do it maybe it's because maybe part of my surgery was covered by medical insurance and the other part I paid out of pocket um so but in the very near future once I'm completely recovered um and depending on how my exercise journey go in the future if I do need to kind of get like what section on my flanks I will do that but one thing I definitely will mention I have lost pretty much just for you women out there to know that um my hips have poked out i will say that so i like the hips that are showing but my butt yeah i didn't have a real big butt previously but i had enough that you can kind of see and grab previously now yeah i don't know what happened um uh, i think maybe because i've been pretty much sitting and laying on it so much because um previously as you know i couldn't my doctor advised me that i couldn't move around like i wanted to so i'm thinking maybe that had something to do with it but I lost a lot of the glute. So once I get clearance to get back in the gym, my main focus is going to be on glute building. So I just want to point out that um, as far as kind of what's going on in my journey and so forth. But besides that, I'm doing pretty good today. I went out and I got my nails done. I am so happy to have my nails done because I haven't really been going out anywhere. I've just been trying to take my medicine, stay on my vitamins and recover, but I got my nails and toes done. Um, and I actually went to the grocery store. I actually went into two grocery stores um, just to get a couple of things. I did a lot of walking just to kind of get myself back into, you know, being a little bit more active. I'm still off. I took off work for six weeks. Let me just say that. Um, and so I go back to work. Uh, I have another week off week and a half pretty much before I have to go back into work so I'm just trying to make sure I am prepared to you know be more active so that is it that is how I'm doing so far if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them and again thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great day